Today I'm going to show you a tactic that's going to have key passes, more key passes than you're going to know what to do with. A bit like this. Yeah, it's fun. How's it going everyone? So this tactic, right, is from a video which is about two or so ago, I think, something like that. It was the Real Betis season that I did the Real Betis and this happened. We've done it, we've done it. Despite a second half comeback from Sociedad, we do take the win 4-3 and Real Betis, one season with, with the one transfer who started the keeper. We've only got and won the league. Yep, straight up we won the league with Real Betis in season one and making one transfer which was a keeper. You son of a bitch. So I'll show you a tactic shortly, and I know a lot of you are just going to say, give me a tactic, give me a tactic, and then you're going to go off into the distance. But I urge you to stay for this video, because I'm going to tell you what tactics to avoid when you're playing against them, what it's going to cause you trouble, what are the key positions, which are absolutely vital. Are you ready? And when, you might get a hide in. So don't come back more than at me in the comments if it doesn't work for you. Because I told you so. This is the game I showed you at the start. So I'm trying this tactic now with Leon because I'm not convinced it's going to work at a lot of other clubs. Remember, I built that tactic for Betis and Betis alone. But we've transferred it over to Leon now, and we are 5-2 up against Clement. I'm not too concerned about that, but what I'm more concerned about is this column here, the key passes. Now, it's full. It's full. We've got seven key passes there from Leo de Boss, seven from Roman Favre, five from Hasim Ar. <laughs> My pronunciations, I apologise. There's loads. There's three from Piqueta, two from Emerson, two from Ikembe, Dembele, Key passes all over the park. This tactic is super fluid. You can see in the top corner what it looks like. Your eyes do not deceive you. That's what we are rocking. Right, here's the tactic, and we're not messing around. So for all you mavericks who want the tactic and just going to rock off, there it is. Fill your boots. There's some key positions in this, and they might not be the ones you think of. Of course, you're going to need three strikers, but they are not the key ones I need. The key ones I need are further back down the pitch. The guys that supply all them key passes for those strikers to feed off. So first up are your two inverted wing backs, left and right, both of them on attack and they're going to surge into these areas here, into these areas here and that is why there's that seemingly humongous gap but bear in mind that these boys will spend most of the time there doing their thing. They are absolutely vital and you can get a bit funky on those which I'll show you shortly. The next two most important roles are your two midfielders, wingers either side in the better save which I'll show you shortly. Jaquin was an absolute beast. 40 years old, 22 assists, 43 games, average rating, 7.21. The amount of assists you're going to get from right and left combined with your inverted wing backs is absolutely mental. You saw the key passes there, the key passes in that last match came from right wing back and left midfield. So get those positions sorted. And by sorted, I mean get them the right players in those positions for your winger. Bear in mind he's going to have to do a lot of work up and down. You can see a little sneak glimpse into the play instructions there. He needs some good ass work rate and some good crossing and passing ability. Now with these two, we've got it. We've got it there. You can see our eyes got a 16 passing. His work rate's decent. Off the ball's good. His vision's fantastic. And his dribbling's good as well. All things I need. Crossing, believe it or not, not so much. It's not going to make a truckload of crosses. It's going to be more intricate passing play. Now he inverted wing backs. This is where it gets a little bit sexy. Now for this Leon team, I've gone quite traditional. I have got two actual fullbacks, stroke wingbacks playing in those positions. But for the Real Betis save, we went a little bit left field and we picked Sergio Canales to play there. Now Sergio Canales, for you fans of La Liga, will know he wants to play there or there. When you start the game, there's no such thing like that. And even after a whole season, He's apparently still unconvincing, but that is exactly where we play him. If we go to his form, you can see, I'm not BSing you. There's all his matches he played this season as an inverted wing back on the right-hand side. And if you look at his performance, 10 assists and 5 goals with a 7.31, he was electric. He was electric. If you've got a player of that ilk getting in these positions more often, the assists are going to flow. And that brings me back to Leon, where... I'm going to have a decent opportunity to try it with them because Dubois is injured. So this man, Dombele, is going to be perfect for it. If I click on, on Dombele, if I was to play him in this position here, the game says, what are you doing? But let me show you something. We've got development training. If I was to train him as a right back, as an inverted wing back on attack, 
Bosch. Them attributes are immediately highlighted. Are you telling me that he's not ideal? And if you add to that the player drift, tries killer balls, Tangai and Dombele is going to be an absolute killer as an inverted wing back on attack. I'm going to play him there right now. Now I have done a video about this, about changing players positions to go against the game if you like. And this is my favourite version of it, he's putting midfielders of that ilk of Ndombele into the inverted wing back slot. And the results can be really satisfying. We'll see how he does here against FC Nantes. Now already, what we are, 18 minutes in, my assistant manager has already said, what are you doing playing in there? What are you doing playing in there? But there he is, he's in position, he's looking good. I'm not worried in the slightest. Mostly because he shifts straight to there. He's now on the edge of the box like a central midfielder. He's going to spend most of his time in those areas there and he's absolutely ideal for it. Hopefully we'll see that with his key passes, his contributions to this football match. 34 minutes in, direct your eyes to Tangai and Dombele up the top there. So he's had 19 passes so far. Not a great deal, but look at two key passes more than anyone else in the team. He's adapting to that role perfectly. Let's keep an eye on him. Injury time in the match, and Dombele sat there. He's got a book in, so that's knocked his uh, average rating of the match down one, but he's still got a seven. He's super solid. We've got a clean sheet. Are you telling me he can't do that role? Of course he can, and that's one of the main roles in the team. Himself and Emerson there, both on sevens, doing great stuff in a tough, tough away match. Do you need some more convincing? Well, here's what's happened with Betis, and I've also played 16 to 20 games with Everton and Sampdoria, all the while, while recording this video, we're trying it with Leon as well. I made this specifically for Real Betis, so if it transfers to these other teams, it's nothing more than a bonus. I do encourage you to tweak it as you like, if you do, give it a go. One more for the good guys. Betis first up, and this is the one that we created it for. You can see our last game of the season there, we just gave Valencia a 7-1 C in two. We finished top of the league above Barca, above Real. We lost three matches all season, once to Barca, and a couple of 1-0s here and there, but we beat Real Madrid handsomely. We smashed Valencia 7-1, a dream season. Now check out these player stats. You can see there the goals coming in. 30 for Borja Iglesias in the league. The average rating table is absolutely dominated by Betis there. Remember what I said about the inverted wing back? There is Canellas doing his thing, getting up and down. The average range of these players is wild. Iglesias finishes with 45 in 46. But alongside him, you've got William Jose, who pops in with 28 in 31. And obviously you've got Nabi Fakir. Basically, this system was built around Fakir. I thought, where can I get him? False nine, 20 goals, 11 assists. Ran the show. Betty smash the La Liga in season one. 95 points, and by the way, when you look into a bit more detail, 101 goals as well. Just be prepared, you are going to get, yeah, you're going to get the odd game, which we'll go into later, but it looked a bit like this. Everton up next, I've currently played 16 games, and Frankie Lampard, if you need any advice soon, give me a call. We're sitting third in the league, just behind Liverpool and Man City. And speaking of Man City, if we go to the schedule, the best result we've had so far was a thumping 5-2 win against Man City with Dominic Calvert-Lewin scoring five. Calvert-Lewin, by the way, I did share this on Twitter, but he's scored 23 times in his 19 games so far this season. 19 in 16 in the Premier League. This man enjoys the We Are Betis tactic, Summit Chronic. We have lost two games. Tight though to Liverpool away 2 3 and at home to Man United 3 4, so no disgrace. But look at the wins there. There's 5 0 against West Ham. There's that 5 2 as well against Man City, which leaves us in the Premier Division table with 16 games played, winning 9 with only 2 defeats and 32 points. So after 16 games, they're sitting quite comfortably in the Champions League spots with 38 goals, conceding 21 because you are going to concede goals. But Everton are killing it. Now, what about Sampdoria in Serie A? Super Samp are currently sitting in 6th position, they've only lost the 3 games and again there's been some stonking results for Sampdoria as well. Pre-season was absolutely blinding and a great start to the season. The only defeats have came against Roma away which can happen, Juve away and a shocker against Cagliari but all the others, goals flowing in, a 4-3 win against Inter and a away draw to Milan and Atalanta and the strikers are loving life. You've got Caputo there with 13 in 17. We've got Manolo Gabayadini with 10 in 13. These are pretty average players, really. They're absolutely slashing it up. And Quagliarella, number 38 year old. So you've got Jacqueline and Quagliarella, both loving this formation. And you'll notice an inverted wing back. In this one, I've got Morton Forsby, who doesn't really want to play there. But eight assists in 16 games so far tells me otherwise. 
So you see the damage it can do. It's pretty lively. It's not going to work for every team. I'm thoroughly convinced it will not work for every team. And there's one or two formations that when I've come up against it, it's kind of got us on the hop. And that's why I'm super happy I did a little test in Serie A because there's a lot of free in the back systems in Serie A. So you can see down the bottom there, Cagliari who beat us in a very even game 2-1 played a wing back system and that's where we struggled a bit so after this match i adapted it so what i recommend and this is where you should listen up so if you've stayed in the video props to you if you're playing against a wing back system a free at the back instead of keeping it fairly narrow i would literally push it out wide because the game gets too squashed you can't make the breakthroughs as soon as i bring out wide like that they seem to start dominating the game a little more and one other thing while we're in team instructions i would recommend keeping that off on the download it might be on just double check that but keep it off because i've got a lot of players on tackle harder there we are and i'm just emphasizing that with get stuck in as well it can lead to a bit of chaos and all the while while i've been doing this video we've been recording we've been multitasking with leon we've been playing a few games now and we're third in league un and we are undefeated which includes a game against psg which we'll get to now there it is one all away at psg with our formation, you thought we would get ripped a bit by Mbappe, Neymar and Messi. They had a lot of chances, but we got the 1-1 draw with Poiqueta getting the equaliser. So, promising stuff for Leon. There's all the results. There's a lot of goals going in, isn't there? 3, 4, 4, 4, 5. So, decent stuff from Leon third in the league so far with 34 goals. Top scorers in League 1. And yes, they're conceding 14, but it's always going to happen, this tactic. It's not a super defensive tactic. But I'm loving the way it's going so far. And it's making someone like Usman Dembele into a worldie. 16 in 16. So that's the fourth team we've used. And the fourth team it seems to be working with. Leon rocking in League 1. And the player stats. Dembele leading the way in goals and average rating. So crew, that is the tactic. You can see there we're still playing away with Leon now. I've shifted Dembele to left wing back. And he's doing the business with more key passes. So we're enjoying that. Please do try and adopt that style where you stick a midfield into inverted wing back. It's dead, dead cool. So if you give it a go, let me know. Coming up will be all the player instructions at the end of the video. So anyone on Xbox or people who don't download can see what I've done with each player position on the instructions. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you give it a go, let me know in the comments. And I'll keep trying to create some new stuff because we're six months into the cycle now. So it's time to start getting some new cool things going on. But take care. I'll see you soon. And here's those player instructions. Thank <laughs> you.